at this. How fantastic is that shot? That is a young crocodile, and it's just busy catching the last rays of the sun quite close to one of our cameras. Now, what is quite interesting, and which is these cameras have allowed us to do, is to view crocodiles in their natural environment from so close. Under normal circumstances, you wouldn't be able to walk or drive a car anywhere close to these crocodiles. As soon as you got close to them, they just slid off into the water and disappear. Now, what is amazing is, for me at least, the ear flap. So just behind the eyeball at the top of the head, that green marble, is a tiny dark black slit. Extending away from that slit is a curved line, which extends all the way back to the back of the head, back of the knob on top of the head. That is the ear flap and that the crocodile can open and it can hear with. That entire canal there that you can see is the ear flap. And pitted across their skull is a bunch of tiny little holes. Now, I don't know this for certain, and I'd love for some help on this, but when I was studying zoology at university, we dissected a shark. And in the nose of the shark was a bunch of pits. I can't remember for the life of me what they're called right now. But these pits were jam-packed with sensory organelle. And I am almost willing to bet that a crocodile's head is exactly the same as a shark's head, that those pits are jam-packed with sensory organelle. And I've seen crocodile go up and nudge food and any actually anything foreign in the water from sticks to shoes to even a plastic bottle the other day i watched a crocodile nudge it and i think that they can sense through these organelles either definitely some or other type of chemical signature is transferred through these things just have a look at that youngster now you can also see that the i was told this is a young boy and it stuck with me that the nose which is that that perturbance on top of the end of the snout, that's the nose and the nostrils. That round disc shaped thing on top of the snout. The eyes and the ears are all on one plane so that the crocodile just has to either stick out the disc of its nose to breathe if it wants to stay completely hidden, or the eyes and ears to listen and see with or all three if, the, if it really wants to come up without the rest of its snout showing above the water. You can imagine how disjointed that would look and how perfect the camouflage would be. Of course, crocodiles lying on the bottom of a, in, the, in, the, in the leaf debris on the bottom of a murky river. Can you imagine how hard that would be to see? Have a look at that crocodile. Isn't that just fantastic? Ah, take care. You wanted to know if crocs have got binocular vision. Um, wow, I've never actually considered that question before. Let's go and have a look. So to, to get binocular vision, you've actually got to have an overlap of, your, of, your, of the two pictures that come into your eyes. Um, something like a lion, for instance, or a human. You, we've got eyes on the front of our face, and the, the, vision, the picture, at least, from, one, from our one eyeball versus the picture from our other eyeball overlaps in the center of our vision, giving us the ability to see slightly different views of the same picture, and that is interpreted by our brain uh, into a spatial dimension which gives us 3D vision. Crocodiles, do they have 3D vision because they are predators and need to judge distance to catch fish? Hmm, good question. Let's see, can we tell on this crocodile? I am unfortunately not able to tell on this crocodile whether or not from the front, we'd be able to see both eyeballs at the same time and whether there'd be some overlap there. But I can guarantee you this, that I'm going to look for a crocodile facing us throughout the course of the rest of this game drive, and I'll try and answer that question for you. That is a very awesome question. Thank you. Um, why don't we go to the mountain cam and go and have a look at the progress of the storm that we've got at the moment um, and see how it is developing.